Hey, people, you might think a paleologist would love to find these old images with writings on it. It's actually his worst nightmare. First thing to do is try to break it before anybody sees it. You know, it's, it's one thing to take all these groups of letters. No spacing or punctuation, you know. Just a whole bunch of letters crammed together. And pull them apart however you want and create words and give it meanings. But when you got a picture, then you have to force a meaning on some of them words. And it makes it really difficult. You might even find yourself taking the page number and fixing it inside the word. So this is called the Pig Stella of Edessa. Said it'd be a funerary stella. You know, these are uh, like it's where your tombstone comes from. You see the tombstone shape in Egyptian tombs and sometimes painted on the walls. And it's usually a story about how much beer you drank and how much pussy you smashed. And they say this is from around the second, third century, you know, about the same time that the Bible was written in the Greek. And they say, and it reads as if they knew that this is how it read. And so if you don't read on down, you might believe that they understand how to read this language. And this is a good translation. A pig, friend to everybody, a four-footed youngster. Here I lie, having left behind the land of Dalmatia, offered as a gift. And Durichin I trod. And Apollonia yearning, and all the earth I crossed on foot alone unscathed. But by the force of a wheel I have now lost the light, longing to see Emetha and the chariot of Phallus. Here now I lie, owing nothing to death any more. And they say this funerary relief of a death is unique in antiquity, in commemorating a pig and a traffic accident. Well, noteworthy because there was other confirmations that were found in it. The main controversy concerns the interpretation of the first word. Does it mean pig or is it a man named pig? Because if it refers to an actual pig, it changes the meaning of most every word in there except just a couple of these proper names for the cities. It changes the entire story. And then they'll go on and talk about some other possible meanings of this. They have no idea what this means. And they say if we put it into meter and some timing here and uh, remove some of the words and syllables and letters that we don't think they belong there and add the ones that we like, it was possibly a song where somebody had left some words missing. So what makes me suspect that this is actually the number here? And then the first word starts here, and it's Eros. Because here, where it goes to the next paragraph, the Dura, you know, Durable, and a Dura Chin. The Dura is one paragraph. You know, this ends with Dura. And then you can see the X here, and the I-N, D-E-E-P, in deep, and ten in deep because if you look up here you see it starts with the X but it see it's shifted over it looks like it starts with the I before that that's nine and nine is Eros O-I ear O-I-R-O-S Eros Eros is Cupid he's a, the son of Venus you know this is why he's got a condom on his head and this thing behind him this is a siege engine so this is a pig here. What it is, this is like a, a cannon. And this is a solid steel rod shoved down in this cannon. It's like an old tank. And, uh, and it'll put the charge in there and put a primer and slide this in. And the men get to rolling this. They roll it at the door, at the wall, whatever. And it drives. It's like an armor-piercing bullet. The top of it drives in, sets off the primer, explodes, and it throws this big iron projectile through the wall, concrete, brick, wood doors, whatever it's going through, or all this iron's getting slung backwards. And I don't know the exact name of this siege engine, but I know that this projectile coming out is called a pig. And so guys go out, you know, with one intention to get in your pants 
and they like to think of themselves as the most powerful siege engine. There's nothing I can't penetrate. And the pig, you know, represents all. They want all of them. They want to be a pig. They just want to get it one time and go on to the next. And so if we separate these words here, where they have them separated here, this becomes a syphilis, you know, and it's nine. Nine meaning you missed the first eight pages. Nine. He rose of a syphilis. You know, that's what happens when you show showing off your engine. And then what they're calling the tetrapause, you know, four paws. That's possibly a P there, a Petra, a rock, a Peter. And so this door on here, this is about the only place I see where it lines up, where a, a word stops on the end. But it has another clue in there. And you see the word above it, the peed on pro, and then the door on pro. There's actually another little word after that. But you see how they tried to line it up here. And that's here, the peed and pro. You know, the peed on is behind you. We're on the boat, we're in the wind. You're getting peed on if you're behind me. So, you know, in Hebrew, the number 19 is an itch. You know, it's written with a 10 and a 9. In the Greek, the number 9 is an itch. You know, it's an I-X. So, if we read this as an itch arose of a syphilis. Peter pause and has. You know, P-O-V is poor, poverty. And it's also the paws, the hands, you know, P-O-W. And so, a posy file, you know, a file, a pedophile, petty would be the children, and the file is to file them, to love, to screw, you know. And a posy is all, and a, a, a pop, pan is all, and pause is all. And a, and a posse is like an ollie in the Hebrew, and ollie file as, files everybody. That's where they're getting this, this friend to everybody, but a file is a little more than a friend. And so just like in the Hebrew, you start looking how the words put together, and you could tell if you got it right. Because the syphilis is going to come from posse, everybody file. You're fucking around too much. You're posy filing and you done got the posyphilis. So if you look at this and you see they just picked and chose where they want to separate these words, there's really no way to tell. The trick is to try to read this all in one word. Read it ten times. Back in the day it was a lot of work to write something in stone. So you thought about it a lot longer than you spent writing. But the words flow together and mean a lot. And the clue down here is the humor the pot on. You know, the pot on, that's the toilet. You're on the toilet. And a cum a tea on. A comedy on the pot on. Something funny to think about when you're sitting on the toilet. And so this is a itchy arose of a syphilis, you know. And a itch and eros and of all a file as he is the creator of syphilis. Oh, itchy arose of a syphilis. And I ain't too sure about tet. means more as to teeter, as in not steady. You know, your own four-leg stool instead of a three-leg stool. Teeter. And it, uh, good chances are that was a peter, you know. And oh, itchy arose a syphilis, peter. Opposing has into decimage all mate has depeding, you know, the behind on. So he's talking about the tool that's behind him and, and decimate and destroy everything that, that all had mate as behind on a prolifin, prolifin and, and carrying your children. You know, a, a prolifer is the offspring to carry, and prolifin is the offspring to make, to mushroom, to increase in number. And the prolifin, and through the door on forcing each they is a wood or ya, 
W-D-U-R, would her. This is what you would do to her and would her ya. The, the double R reading in the last one's a Y-A. You know, this is the kind of person you are, is what it's describing. Oh, itchy rose of posiphilos. Peter opposing as, as into decimage, you know, the J. Into decimage made, into destroy all maintenance, you know, decimage to make it down to a tenth, to break it down to a tenth, a fraction of, to decimate, into decimage all maidens, the peden behind prolifin, a door on forcin, each they is wooder ya. And this gives you a real good idea of who's in charge of interpreting this for you. Offered as a gift is the door on force in each. This is. You know, you little pig, little pig, let me in. And then you're coming down here. You know, to page 10. Means you should have looked at the other four plaques, one through eight, before you got to nine and ten in the story. But the ten, you know, reads as a ch, and a chin deep at is, double A, at is your poly. A chin deep at is your poly. Many a girl you done been chin deep in. A poly on, and the I-A is a W, a W-N, the went. Chin deep at is a poly, yo, went. Opodes, opodes as. You know, opodes is a story in a song, in time, in meter. And so it was common in all the ancient burials to have the song of your life written there on the plaque. And that would be went, a went opodes as. You know, your song in meter. And your story reads as. O oh, itchy rose of a syphilis Peter, opposing has into decimate all maintenance, the peden all behind you, prolifin, prolifin the door on, forcing, you know, forcing your way in the door, enforcing each they is a wood are you? You're that type of person. And then down to page 10. And chin deep. Any of you pussy lickers out there know what that means. You know, and, and chin deep at is. You many went. You done been chin deep on many a muffin. And many a went the podes as. The story goes. The song goes. And Pies on gay on die ben. And this is, and pa, and all on, and gay, the earth on, and die ben. Done been through every woman on earth, you know, die ben, through ben. But if you look in here, this is, uh, this gay for earth looks more like a English, A N. G L, you see it here. The A has clearly got a line across, and the A N and the G is here, and this is the L, and there's no line across there. The L I H, the English, and that's one of the things they're trying to hide. You know, it was forcing down the door, breaking through, and and spreading the seed of the Pharaoh, the pig. And so it's more and pa and all's English. The ang, the English in through Ben. And all's the English in through Ben. A possum of nose. They're getting that foot from the pause here. But this is a position, a place of, a place from of nose, a lip. As none the trosha of V, and so uh, this is this means no traffic, no traffic life that nobody goes. 
and all England die ban, all England through ban, and the position from nose, and all positions I know. And this a lift as none the traffic hobby. This is spelled a little different. And the I, the O I becomes the H or the E. The the troche is the traffic, the tracks, you know. And none the tracks, and the hobby is a word for the old guy that she's with. That's not really her uncle or her husband. You know, in, in the Bible, they say it means your dad's friend, you know, your hobby, the older man you're with. And to cause a forceful elopa. And they'll say that this is a light or a lighthouse, to light. And the force of elope, elope. And so the I, oh, I becomes the E. And so people didn't know this, but they knew what it meant. It meant to elope. And if you look up elope, it means the leap. The leap. L-E-B-A. To chaos for all the leap. The committee on. And this is the word in the Hebrew Bible for when they start writing a covenant. The comedy. It's always in comedy. It's always in riddles. In the committee on, in the committee in, the pot, the pot on, on the toilet, what's written on the wall in the bathroom, a katadine, katadine, I look down to see. That's where they're getting this longing to see from up here, that's just not there. But I just remember reading this about the katadids, the locusts that were eating up Egypt here. You know, and the cater did it. We'll be eaten up. And I looked down to look down, and they done been catered in. They done ate on it. Look down to see something being eaten. You know, the look down, the cater dying, a fally hold armor. A fally hold armor. The chariot of the phallus. Oh, celebration of the dick where a bunch of big dicks roll down the parade route but it's the the folly and hold h-o-d-e a folly hold armor hold of the phallus and hold is forgive it it's due respect sir it's why those priests wear hood you know it's to ordain to consecrate to admit into the religious order you know, the, the fally hoed, a condom on the dick. In the comedy in the pot on, K to die, to look down the fally hoed armor. And ended. You see, this is uh, almost like it was up here, except they added the nun in here. Which here they say means but, or the, the same as in the Greek Bible. They'll mix these up with but the. But this here, now I lie, owing nothing to death, you know, is ended. The ended in when. Ended in when. And semit, the semi to, a semi, you know, decimage, semi, a half. And semi toten on to make it a file ominous. A file ominous no name and you'll see that here this is the last line too ominous ominous too ominous with no no name attached the file with no name so it seems to be a story about oh itchy rose of a posi you know of of all he file is and he done got the syphilis and all the women and all his children from them, you know, they're all going to be dissolved from the syphilis. There'll be nothing. And the comedy and the pot on to look down, to Katie Dine, to look down the folly, the phallus, the folly hoed, the, the phallus ho hooded, the phallus hooded armor, the ended, ended in when, the half to, half toting. To make it a file ominous. So let me try to put all this together and read it how it might have sounded then. 
in its ancient English form. Itchy rose of a syphilis, a trap of zin who's into decimate. All mate is the pedin prolifin, door on force in each this wood or ya. Chin deep of this ya polyon went apodes, and pass England of in. Pause em all if twos, none the troach hobby, to chaos for all elope. Comedy on the potten, Catadine Valleyhood armor ended in when semi totin Adam meek it of Philemonus. And so I know nobody got that. And even the smartest person in the day of this language, these writings are designed to be read several times to see the different layers in it, to see the different meanings and to see how poets created names to put humor in life attached to factual happenings the posiphilus and now that i'm done i searched and i found a better image of that and this does look more like a t here this line wasn't here so it's the syphilis it a trap you know the p on the other end the syphilis it a trap of but you can plainly see that this a they give Gaia the earth over here is definitely an L. There is no A to it. And the itch at the beginning is questionable. It, it show is offset a good ways over here. But this isn't the original anyway. This is just a copy they had made of the original. But it's definitely about a pig. In the Welsh, meaning a, a point or a spike, spike or a barb in the Danish. It means a sexist man. It means the big gun, the guy who's carrying the pig. And in ancient times, it represented government. You know, it's where the word pharaoh come from. Pharaoh, you know, it means to hold a house full of baby pigs. And you can see it here in the interpretation, you know, a pig is a friend to everybody. A politician tries to be everybody's friend, want to shake everybody's damn hand. So don't believe nothing you're told. You know, whether they know it or not, they're lying to you. They have to lie to us about our entire history because if people figure out how to read this, they'll learn how to read the Bible. They'll find out that everything they think they know is a total lie. It's been a creation to keep sheep, to create sheep out of the people. They don't think we can handle the truth, which most people won't be able to handle the truth. They're going to be looking for somebody to kill when they find out what's been going on. And the fingers are all going to point at religion and government, the two things that are mistranslated most. And I was wanting to read some more about these locusts, Exodus 10, this 8th and 9th plague, they called it. And that'll be in the next movie. But I just want to show you, you know, that it... All this ancient Greek, they had to misinterpret everything because this is the main thing they didn't want you reading the Bible. You know, a pedicurious, a pedicurious promotion, the foot, a ped, a, a pedicurious promotion. Legend they sought for as a pharaoh, the pig, the gogger, the gogger, you know, gog and magog, that's where it comes from right there. They'll try to put it with the A all the time, but it can't because a G, a G following the A would become an end. This is the way you spell Gog and Magog. And the Gogger is the one that's leading you on the way. The pig is leading the farm, the Gogger. And thank you much for the share, UK lady. I like the Velma look. And if you haven't seen this last movie, The Rights of Val Le Val, it'll make more meaning to this movie. And it'll point the finger at the pig. I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.